Okay, so it's... I really hope one day people look back and say, she tried to tell them. If you're training dogs for other people, it's, it's not about you loving dogs and you loving on the dog and you transferring all this love. It's about them being able to get a result and, and you're going to have to act in a dispassionate fashion. And I mean that in a way, it's the pager is just conveying information. It's not conveying emotion. If you said that doesn't make any sense. Oh, hi, Med. It would work. It works for anybody. Let's just put it this way. I could stand anybody here within reason. You would be able to get a reasonable result unless you were just awful and couldn't follow instructions. But, oh, hi, Etsy. Anyway, this is where I'm at. I'm on zero. And I'm using this. I'm basically Pavlov. I'm basically Pavlov. If you said, I don't want a dog. Say, so don't give it any food or any fun around at the same time as the pager because it, it's going to happen. And I explained it to that guy, Briars. Is if you had a vibrating bowl, if every time you set the bowl down, rated, you know, if you said, get over yourself, this Pavlov figured this out in 1902. That's where I'm at. I'm not even, I'm not even turning it off zero. And if you said how, if you, if you put plastic contact points on, you can give it to anybody. They're not, there's no risk of mistake. If you said the, what's the worst thing that could happen? Just like if you just kept texting somebody and just with frivolous, pretty soon, they didn't answer your text. <laughs> So again, this is an older spayed female dog. I'm able to activate this behavior by virtue of this. And I am keeping that on zero all the time. And if anything, you should carry this thing around in your hand. It should be second nature. You know, if you said, can you toss it? Not really. <laughs> but it should be in your right hand. Oh, hi, Kelly. It should be in the hand, not next to the dog. It should be in your right hand. So anyway, uh, listen, Kelly, we have to talk them into leaving Anka here for the whole school. I mean, she is a hot mess. She is a hot mess, but she is learning. But, you know, people expect too much from them. They do. It's, you know, if you said, well, I was able to learn a skill in, in two weeks, two weeks. What? Okay, so what I've got is I'm going to be very controlled with my if I'm saying I'm going to reward the dog for going away more than I'm going to reward it for coming to me. If I only reward it for coming to me, it's not going to be as prone to going away. So I haven't done anything yet. I haven't done anything. If I want to activate the pager, I can do it concurrent. And if you said, what do I want? I want a dog that faces the handler. If you said, now what if I want the pager to be to stay up there? gave me a little bit of a false start. If you said in the head, yeah, in the head. So if you said it's going to understand, it's going to feel the pager. So I, I'm not moving. I'm just the pager is doing the movement for me. I don't know what else to say. I'm just doing the pager concurrent with my moving. It makes sense. If you said, I'd rather jerk on a chain. <laughs> oh, hi, Sharon. Oh, hey, girl. I love you so much, girl. I do. I said, she's just a genuine person. Salt of the earth. That's what I, that's the only people I can have in my life. I can't have all these phony baloney duck face selfie girls. It's too much. These people want to be a celebrity. They don't want to be a dog trainer. It's like that Woody Allen movie celebrity. They want to be famous. They don't care why. 
If it's for zapping dogs, who cares? If it's for zapping dogs with a collar, so be it. I mean, it's just even these outfits and stuff these girls wear. At least wear a shirt that says dog trainer. So I, this, dog, this dog has the I Dream a Genie drill. Hang on. Let me face the camera this way. This dog has the I Dream a Genie drill. So if you said, what's that? So it'll stare into my eyes. And if you said, should you stare and push your face towards them? No. Well, that was my pager. So I can get her to, she'll micro. So it stares into my eyes, but it's, you know, if you said it's looking at your whole body, how, how can it not be seeing my whole body? How is it not seeing my whole body? It's subconscious is taking notes about what I'm doing. If you said you're leaning backwards as opposed to putting your face forward. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So if you said you have that transferred over here, for sure. So get it to move that foot back. Just such a clear cue. You said you want the dog to always turn and face you? Yeah. If you said I want it to sit with its back to me. Say, what? It's back to you don't want it to sit with its back to you. Alright, so if you said straighten the dog up, and I can do it from close. It's better if I do it from close. So if you said, what's the crucial part? I'm doing, I'm double blinking, just like Jeannie used to do. Yeah, I grew up like everyone else. Watching these, I think I watched mostly in uh, reruns and syndication, but the message, Kelly, listen to me. The message of these videos or those TV shows was girls can do magic. It was, Samantha from Bewitched, Jeannie, men are bumbling idiots and women can do magic. The truth of these, you know, writers is just profound. It's so true. Men are bumbling idiots that are easily fooled. And if you put on a dress and this, that, and the other, and girls can do magic. <laughs> so that's just the pager. said the bug distracted it. It did. Well, I'm very internal. I, my body language is very introspective. I, if you said go in more, I will. <laughs> it's even more, in, it's more introspective by moving away. If you said just start reaching, rubbing, petting, They're not gonna look at your eyes if nothing ever happens. All right, so I could do like a little call back. Hang on, let me see if I can do the shot. And this is a way that you could use the pager, and I don't really use it that way that much, but you can add it at a halfway point. And you shouldn't do this too much, but it's gonna put a physical point in the environment. If you said, what about your voice? That's just going to be sound. There's not going to be a lot of feel to it. So if you said this is going to be sound, feel, and your voice, yeah. So now you have three things, yeah. Plus I'm going to use like a little hand thing too, so four. Oh, <laughs> Why does the dog not 
And that's how you get away with going directly towards one and it not looking like a threat. If you said, because you're going to that platform. Yeah. If you said, should you repeat that drill? No way, no way. Don't repeat it. If you were going to repeat it, do it as the, bring it all the way in. If you said, how would you do that one? Lou. Lose the whole, lose the whole physical point. There's no more physical point right there at that moment. Anyway, guys, let me get this other dog out. And I'll be right back. But that was all on zero. And if you said, when are you activating it? If you're there, Otzi, you're just doing it in conjunction. If you said, it affords you the luxury of never having to jerk on the collar to do micro movements. Never. It gives you the ability to do very it's without so from here I can do the pager I didn't have to touch the dog. I never pulled the dog. The dog was never, the dog was never jerked on a leash close to the handler like that. And this dog's been collar conditioned for many years. So if you said if you were hitting it with constant, it was getting shitty acting, it would be really, really shitty acting after a few years of this. Yeah, absolutely. like the platform though I really do and they will default to just staying up there all right let's let me go get the other one out I'll be right back 